Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we will take up MCQs based on important news and article from the Hindu and Indian Express newspaper. Topics for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. First question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number one of the Hindu newspaper. Now, according to this news, both houses that is Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha put together functioned for just 5 minutes and 45 seconds. Now, this deadlock is due to the Adani row for which main opposition parties are demanding a debate and accusing the ruling party that it is denying the proper time for the debate over this issue. Now, topic of parliament, its features, regulations and procedures related to it are pretty much important from the perspective of UPSC examination. As in 2020, UPSC has asked question based on various important features and procedures related to the parliament. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, with reference to the Indian parliament, consider the following statement. You have to identify the incorrect statements. Now, statement 1 says, as per the Indian constitution, parliament shall have two parts only, namely, the Council of State that is Rajya Sabha and House of People that is Lok Sabha. Second statement says, one fourth of the members of Council of State shall retire on the expiration of every third year. Now, third statement says, Constitution empowers the President for summoning the session of Parliament, its prorogation and dissolution. Now, as per Article 79 of the Constitution, which talks about the constituents of the Parliament, it says there shall be Parliament for Union, which shall consist of the President, two houses, known respectively as the Council of State that is Rajya Sabha and House of People that is Lok Sabha. So our first statement is incorrect which says that it consists of only two parts whereas constitution says that it includes three entities namely president, council of state and house of people. Now the second statement is also incorrect as constitution under article 83 says that council of state shall not be subject to dissolution that it is a permanent house. But as nearly as possible, one third and not one fourth as mentioned in question of the members thereof shall retire as soon as may be on the expiration of every second year and not third year as mentioned in the question. So our second statement would also be incorrect. Whereas the third statement is correct as if you will refer to article 85 of the constitution, the president shall from time to time summon each house, president may from time to time prorogue as well as dissolve the house so constitution empowers president for these three roles so as you had to find the incorrect statements our answer would be a that is one and two only answer for this pyq is c that is one and three only now the next question is based on this news which featured on page number five of the hindu newspaper now news is related to delay in the constitution of penair tribunal now, Penear Tribunal was related to a dispute between state of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu over the construction of structures on river Penaya. Now, in December 2022, Supreme Court had given a three-month deadline to central government to constitute a tribunal for the same. However, center has failed to adhere to this three-month deadline. Now, Tamil Nadu state is waiting union government next course of action as efforts to settle the dispute through talks had already failed. Now, UPSC has been asking question based on various quasi-judicial bodies and various dispute resolution mechanism. As it has already asked a question based on comparative analysis between National Green Tribunal and Central Pollution Control Board that is CPCB. So, let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, consider the following statement. Statement 1 says, resolution of interstate water disputes falls under original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Now, this statement is incorrect. As if you will refer to the Article 262 of the Constitution, it says, Parliament may by law provide for the adjudication of any dispute or complaint with respect to the use, 
डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और कंट्रोल ऑफ द वॉटर्स ऑफ और इन एनी इंटर स्टेट रिवर और रिवर वैली सब क्लॉज टू से नॉट विद स्टैंडिंग एनी थिंग इन दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पार्लियामेंट मे बाई लॉ प्रोवाइड दैट नीदर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट नॉर एनी अदर कोर्ट शेल एक्सरसाइज ज्यूर डिक्शन इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनी सच डिस्प्यूट नाउ अंडर दिस प्रोविजन पार्लियामेंट हैज इनेक्टेड टू लॉज फर्स्ट इज रिवर बोर्ड एक्ट एंड सेकेंड इज इंटर स्टेट वॉटर डिस्प्यूट एक्ट and both were enacted in the year 1956 and under this act that is interstate water dispute act of 1950 parliament has excluded the interstate water dispute from the purview of original jurisdiction of the supreme court now second statement says the decision of the interstate water dispute tribunal is final and binding on the parties to the disputes now this statement is correct as under the same act that is interstate water dispute act 1956 the decision of the tribunal would be final and binding on the parties to the dispute so as you had to find the correct statements our answer would be b that is two only answer for this pyq is b that is two only inspiration for our next question comes from this news which featured on page number 7 of the hindu newspaper news is about border road organization opening strategic jozila pass in record 68 days previously this pass was closed for around 73 days and for this year this pass was only closed for 68 days that shows the technological prowess of the bro now upsc has been asking question based on important geographical feature which are in news as in 2015 it has asked a question based on which of the states form the easternmost and westernmost boundary of india so we have taken up a practice mcq based on important mountain passes in india you have to identify which among the following pairs are correctly matched first option is bara lachhala now bara lachhala is also known as bara lacha pass It is a high mountain pass in the Zanskar range of northern India. It connects Lahul district in Himachal Pradesh to Leh district in Ladakh. So this pair is not correctly matched. Second option is Lipu Lake. Now Lipu Lake is a Himalayan pass on the border between India's Uttarakhand state and the Tibet. It is situated near the tri junction with Nepal, Tibet and India. so this option is also not correctly matched the third is dipu pass which is a mountain pass around the area of disputed tri point border of india china and myanmar dipu pass is also a strategic approach to eastern arunachal pradesh in india and it lies on the mcmohan line so this pair is correctly matched now last is bumla pass which is a border pass between tibet and india's tawang district in arunachal pradesh The pass currently serves as a trading point between Arunachal Pradesh and Tibet and it is also an agreed border personal meeting point for the security forces of China and India. As you had to find the correct pairs our answer would be C that is 3 and 4 only. Answer for this PYQ is D that is Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat. Now our next question is based on this article which featured on page number 14 of the Hindu newspaper. Now the article talks about a scheduled Sufi music concert in Chennai by renowned music composer A.R. Rahman. Now details related to this concert is not that much important from the UPSC examination. However, the term Sufi is pretty much important from the perspective of UPSC examination. as upsc has been asking question based on important aspects of sufism and bhaktism as you can see here in 2019 it has asked a question based on chronology of bhaktism and sufism where it has asked you to identify the correct period to which saint nimbarka and saint kabir belonged so let's take up today's practice mcq question says with reference to the sufism in the medieval indian history consider the following statements and in these statements description related to key terms like sama fana and zikr has been given you have to identify which among the following statement describes these keyword correctly now sama is a spiritual dance and music to promote the concept of sufism and it was performed at sufi shrines so statement 1 is correct now the second statement that is fana it is a spiritual merger of devotees with allah 
Now the second statement is also correct. Whereas the third statement is incorrect. As Sufism encourages music as a way of deepening one's relation with God. Remembering God by zikr that means reciting the name. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be A that is 1 and 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is D that is neither 1 nor 2. Next question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 14 of the Hindu newspaper. This news is about setting up of a green self-powered desalinization plant in Lakshadweep by NIOT that is National Institute of Ocean Technology which is an institute under the ages of Ministry of Earth Science that is MOES and it has been working for years on harnessing energy from the ocean. Now this institute that is NIOT is going to set up a desalinization plant based on a technology which is known as low temperature thermal desalinization that is LTTD. Now important scientific developments and terms which feature in news become theme for UPSC examination. As in 2014 it has asked a question based on solar power and related technologies. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says consider the following statements with reference to the low temperature thermal desalinization technology that is LTTD. Statement 1 says LTTD technology is based on ocean thermal energy conversion principle. Now this statement is correct as this technology uses temperature gradient that is it uses the difference between temperature of top layer which is warmer and a layer at depth which remains colder. It depressurizes this water and this depressurized water gets evaporated at ambient temperature also. Now this technology uses this cold water to condense this evaporated water and thus harness potable water from the saline water. Now the second statement says the technology does not require any chemical pre and post treatment of sea water and thus the pollution problem are minimal. Now this statement is also correct. Third, it's, third statement says it requires high operational maintenance compared to other desalinization processes. Now this statement is incorrect. Since no effluent treatment is required in this process, it gives less operational maintenance problem compared to other desalinization processes and it is also environment friendly. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be A that is 1 and 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is also A that is 1 only. Now inspiration for the last question of today's session comes from this news which featured on page number 10 of the Indian Express newspaper. Now ISRO has planned the first test vehicle demonstration of Gaganyaan for May 2023 followed by second test vehicle mission. The first uncrewed mission of Gaganyaan is proposed in the first quarter of 2024 and as of now ISRO is planning to send manned mission by December 2024. Now important developments related to space science and technology has been a recurring theme in UPSC preliminary examination. As in 2016, it has asked a question based on Mangalyan. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, consider the following statements about Gaganyan mission. You have to identify the correct statement. Statement 1 says, it envisages demonstration of human space flight capability by launching crew to geosynchronous orbit. Now this statement is incorrect. As Gaganyan mission by ISRO indeed aims to demonstrate India's capability to conduct human space flight and safe return, the mission will launch a crew of three members to a low earth orbit of 400 km for three days and bring them back safely to earth by landing in Indian sea waters. So it is low earth orbit and not the geosynchronous orbit. Second statement says upon its successful execution, India would be the third country to send a manned mission after Russia and USA. Now this statement is also incorrect as India would be the fourth country after Russia, USA and China. Statement 3 says the launch vehicle consists of three stages namely solid stage, liquid stage and cryogenic stage. Now this statement is correct. As this will be done through GSLV Mach 3 rocket popularly known as launch vehicle Mach 3. It consists three stages that is solid, liquid and cryogenic stage. So as you had to find the correct statement our answer would be C that is 3 only. 
Answer for this PYQ is C that is 1 and 3 only. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more such update.